Hi, I'm Senator Malcolm Roberts and I'm on the Gold Coast with Sharon Sewell, who's our One Nation candidate in the coming state election for the seat of Gavin. Or Gavin, doesn't matter whichever way you want to produce it, G-A-V-E-N, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, great. <laughs> Tell us a bit about yourself, please, Sharon. Okay, well, I've lived on the Gold Coast since 1984. My parents um, have been in small business since 1984 on the Gold Coast. Um, we own a printing business, um, so and that's... Um, all I've really done on the Gold Coast since then. I went to school on the Gold Coast. I'm a mother. I am married. I, I love the way you said that. I'm a mother. You've got some pride <laughs> in it because that's, that's something to be very proud of. And that puts her in touch with a lot of people. Yes, yes. And the needs. Yeah. I'm married. I have an eight-year-old son that's going through the schooling system. Um, I live in the western suburbs of the Gold Coast, which often get forgotten about, out in a beautiful Narang. Um, and so I feel as if I'll be a true voice for the area to get us on the map and also the real true voice for small business as I have been in small business and the ups and downs over the last years and really understand the small business community through all the, you know, things like the GFC and even the really hardships that businesses had through the... You would do a lot of work as a printer for small businesses, yes, wouldn't you? So lot, you'd interact yeah. a hell of a lot yes, with small business. Yes, yeah. so I've, I've really seen what goes on with small business. Yeah. And the small business on the Gold Coast was only just recovering from the um, impact of the Commonwealth Games, um, and then COVID happened. So um, the small businesses want people back through their doors. Yeah. And, yeah, and on the Gold Coast, it, you know... There are some, like the, you know, the accommodation places and that are still really struggling. Yep. Yeah. So, so why One Nation, Sharon? Well, I do feel that One Nation um, is the only party that has grassroots representatives that aren't um, career politicians. Um, yep. We're not there to climb the ladder. We're actually really there for our community. Like in my electorate, there's over 2,500 businesses on JobKeeper and over 7,000 people on it. So... Um, we really need to have a voice for those, a real, true voice for those people. And I believe One Nation is, you know, the only party that has those people to re represent the the people of Australia. We're hearing that all over the country. People yeah. are saying exactly what you just said. Yeah. Um, so, so what are some of the issues that are affecting the people of um, Gavin? Gavin. <laughs> so, well, firstly, there is the small business issue. Um, you know, the small business is just like, even though all these grants and everything. Um, you know, are coming in. So there's regulations, electricity costs. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and it's they, a red tape, green tape, blue tape. It's, yeah. it's all just strangling small business. Yeah. It's very difficult to hire people and, and yes. manage them oh, properly. Oh, for sure, yeah. I think the, the hiring of people is one of the biggest issues in small business. I've had, you know, got real personal experience with that too. And, yeah, the electricity prices. And the small businesses just want people back through their doors. Like, um... Uh, the average small business owner doesn't want um, a handout. We, we want people back through the doors, yeah. You, you want a hand up, not a hand, hand out. out. Yeah. And a hand up looks like yeah. getting rid of a lot of stupid labour regulations, yeah. uh, which, are, which are trapping people right around the state, agriculture, manufacturing, destroying manufacturing yeah. thanks to labour, yeah. um, and also the tertiary sector as well. Yeah. Small businesses, large businesses. Yeah. Um, so what we need is pe uh, people like Sharon, so vote Sharon Sewell, number one, in the seat of Gavin or Gavin, whichever way you want to produce it. It doesn't matter. Pronounce it. Just vote one Sharon Sewell and you'll get a good representative who will speak up for you.